Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got our fairy loot box. So this is our fairy loot box for May. Um, so we are now up to date and they're hoping that June's box will be stay the same and will be set out at the end of this month, which is lovely. So May's theme was Desert Dreams, I believe, and we also know where there's going to be a candle in here by Wick and Fable. So we do not know what um, fairy loot is. Fairy Loot is a book, it's a subscription based in the UK and they give you monthly YA release books with fandom bookish goodies inside, which I definitely love and I cannot wait to go open it. So, further deep breath in, breathe in, let's get into it. Let's... The box definitely feels As you open it up, oh, is that the bookish thing? Maybe. Okay, when you open it up, you have this. Is there a spoiler card? And as created is Desert Dreams. Since I do not know, oh, I just saw the book. Ooh. Okay, so obviously I don't know what the stuff is, so I'm gonna look in it. There's so much crinkle stuff in it. I see spoons. Okay, I'm guessing this is the bookish thing. So it says. We're so excited to share this amazing bookish tea design by the Chateau Noir with you. It's inspired in, inspired, um, sorry, the artwork is inspired by We Hunt the Flame by Hasha Fezzel. And we loved how it looks. It's perfect for story and everything and for, tr for from tea leaves to trinkets. So, that's very thick and it says on here, We Hunt the Flame, the light and the darkness, the good this world deserves. And I find it... Okay, so it's like a lid on, so you can definitely put tea like tea leaves in here as well. That does come, come that will come handy. Something, and I find that really pretty. Um, that, that's pretty cool. Then the next item said, We have previously featured some kitchen utensils and cutlery, but we thought there would be something missing. Um, so we thought we'd like to introduce you to <laughs> the bookish wooden spoon. Um, in phrase with the design by KD Pet Petters. I probably said the wrong, sorry, KDP letters. It features a quote from the Hero of the Fall by Al Owen Hamilton. So there's the spoon. So this is like a big cooking spoon. It's pretty cool and it does have like um Aladdin kind of thing on it. And it says that there's no such thing as just stories. Story. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's definitely engraved and I find that very, very, it's like hard. You don't want to use it, but you have to. That's so cool. And it's so much cool stuff in here okay so to expand your tea towel collection we're sending you this gorgeous one design with either bookish and inspired by the city of brass uh, by ca chaka roboti you can also hang up to your new wall we love we always love a multi-purpose item um, okay. let's get this out so it's a very oh well that's actually a nice detail so that's what it looks like that's actually so cool. And it says on here, oh, um, I actually had it upside down. Brilliant. Um, often the mighty, mightiest things might have the ham bless, I don't know, beginnings. <coughs> but there we go. That's actually a really nice decent towel, a uh, tea towel, but I think I would actually like hang that up somewhere. Or maybe because I don't want to get it ruined. That's cool they put a tea towel in it. I do find that quite nice and cool. Let's put that there. Um, make sure you take time to relax. In your box, you will find some gorgeous des des desert bath salts to soak your worries away. These bath salts were made by the little g heart gifts. And no worry if you do not own your boat bath tub. Uh, bath tub, you can use these for a foot to soak to give the feet the feet they deserve. Okay, so that's what the bath salts look like. And it says on here, magic desert, a desert sand, triple, triple blend luxury bath salts, sandalwood scent. So it has one of those open things, you can still open it up and close it. I want to give this a scent, a smell. I don't think I've just smelled anything that's sandalwood, so we'll find out. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I like that. 
that's something to use i've got like a big bag of uh, bar salts ready uh, ready so this is something to add to my collection which i find really really good and it's a nice size as well so you can give that a couple of baths so that's cool you can reuse this for the bath salts as well which will be fun it'll be cool so relax and set the mood with the beautiful tribal desert candle inspired by the end of emperor of ashes ashes series by the sabra Ta uh, tahara they're hand poured by the amazing wick and fable and they make your rooms more delightful so funny enough guys i do have the book of emperor of ashes now so i'm really really happy so here's the candle and it says if uh, sorry the tribal desert inspired by the emperor of ashes we can favourite. So this is a Luke Crates exclusive. So this is like a decent sized candle, black lid, and it's got one of those just what, little wicks. Oh wow! It smells just like vanilla. I'm not sure what it's actually a uh, smell of. Does it really say? Oh, soy vegan. No. Oh, that smells really, really good for a candle that I've got for my first time from Fairy Loot. It does smell really good and like. It's not like straw or anything as well, so that's really good. I can't wait to use them. Um, as the days are becoming sunnier, we thought it would be fun to, and useful to include a sunglasses pouch. So you can protect your pale shades in future beautiful quote from the Forbidden Wish by Jessie Corey, designed by the Kristen Crop. So, here we go. I actually love this. I was actually going to see if I can get myself a glass case because I really needed one. And it says on here, you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you can become because of it. That's really cool. I love that. And it's very silky. Like, it feels silky, and it looks like there's enough room in there. So I do those find kind, kind of uh, really helpful, and they're colourful too, which I do like a lot. Then it says, this month's feature tarot cards of the 3 and 4 for a 4 of carp. They're designed by the very talented Gabrielle Bougeot and inspired by the Phonograph series by Sarah J. Maths. So here's the three of cups, and here is the four of cups. So leave in the comments down below if you do know the names for these, because I have no doodles on who they are yet. I do have the books, but uh, I don't know who these characters are, so please leave a comment down below who they are. They're the very love. I love how they do these. These go straight into my book volume, where all my other tarot cards are. And I love your hand. So it says something we're excited, excited to bring you this beautiful edition of the Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Basardos. I just butchered that. It's captured story inspired by Persian mythology. It, in this original fairy tale, a girl is cursed to be poisonous to the touch and is truly a gem. This fairy loot reverse sorry, this fairy loot exclusive edition has the exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork of the reverse of the dust jacket by the amazing Oraki, and is signed by the author. Don't forget to read the little letter and then join the char uh, Gorda's character art by Mer Wild and Co on the other side. So, that means we're on the book. Okay, that book is big. I think that's like, before we get into the book, guys, look, right? This is literally just crinkle stuff that I have now on my floor. Brilliant, that's a lot of crinkle stuff. I normally just put like a little amount in it, not like a big massive but because there's a lot of more delicate stuff in there. I think that's probably why. Ooh, okay, so we can see green spray bit spray edges like our Bone and Cries one, as you can see. So let's get this beautiful book out. Come on. Is that it? Okay, so before we get to the book, we have our bookmark like always. I actually put these on my wall, like upstairs, and they look really nice. We have the author's note with the characters that's going to be in there, and these characters look fierce and mighty, and oh my god, that looks so awesome. It's like a piece of paper, but it's perfectly fine. And here is the author note. As you can see, I have all the other um, author notes behind me, and I'll do exactly the same with this. Which I love. We get to the fairy scoop a bit. Oh my god. God. Guys, look at that cover. Holy snakes and crows. That's a beautiful. So yes, this book looks amazing. The pastel pink. Um, hello, yes. Um, obviously the back. You got sprayed so the pink and the green is it looks stunning to go together. Let's have a look. At the oh my god, hang on. Can you see this artwork? 
holy crap that is some artwork it kind of does definitely remind me of aladdin now the naked the book looks naked as it's a pale blue the spine is just black and i love it it's actually so intriguing i think I'll, let's have a look it says on here there was once sorry there was and once sorry oh my god i can't read there was and there was not a as this all story begin a princess cursed to the poisonous to the touch but for sora Soya, who has lived her, hidden her life hidden away from every part of my family safe only in her gardens it's not just a story as the day of her twin brother's wedding approaches sora and must decide if she's willing to step outside of the shadows for the first time blowing the dungeons and the demon who holds the noise that she craves the answer to her freedom and above is a young man who is, isn't afraid of her his eyes lingers not with fear but with an understanding of who she beneath the poison sora thought she knew her place in the world but when her choices lead to consequences she never imagined to begin to question who she is and who she's becoming human or demon okay just from that hell yes i cannot wait to read it um i literally can't wait to read it that's gonna be so awesome i just love the sound of it and it is signed by the author like it said and girls made of snow and glass but yes look at the cover though oh that's so pretty yes okay so book aside you go into the fairy scoop and it's just a little bit in and inside it tells you more about the um, book and then also well, the reader and it shows you the two books before so you've got this pale blue that pale green that they um hard cover was and then you've got the fairy cover which i find lovely and then our theme for next month or well, for this month shall i say for june is a different kind of magic we're excited to reveal that june's theme for our monthly box is it is a different kind of magic we love all magic and this month we wanted to celebrate unique magic systems. Magic that's a little out of ordinary and not quite what they come to ex uh, expect. The types of magic that make you think, that make you wonder, you make, that make you wish. You can expect items inspired by the Ben Bone Season, Avatar The Last Airbender, hell yes, The Cedar Sea, The Cedar Between Us, I have not read that book yet and I've had a lot of disagreements, with, I've heard a lot about that book a lot. So I guess I need to read it myself. Alice in the Wonderland love that and blood hair we're thrilled to reveal that this box will have two books the second box book in the box is a ya release that won't be released until spring 2021 so we're gonna get a book pretty much a year early hell yeah and um, it's beautiful paperback edition will have an exclusive foil filled cover and sprayed edges our feature book of the month is a tale of Destin destiny and sisterhood filled with shaman a uh, shaman king, uh, magic in this epic story, newly awakened abilities are tested as darkness looms and the kingdom is the brink of war. This very loot exclusive edition will have an ex exclusive uh, customer artwork of the reverse of the dust jacket and will be sticked by the author, uh, signed by the author. Uh, yes, I like that. So I think my favourite item from this box is definitely has to be the book. I th uh, yeah, the book and the candle at the moment. I cannot wait to turn the film. But that book, the cover looks freaking amazing and I cannot wait to read it. Um, I know I'm still reading the fairy books, but the way I'm going at the moment, I'm going to get there. So thank you, I uh, do apologise if you hear that in the background as well, but hey -ho. So that is the end of the May's Fairy Loot box. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. We'll still say this, I'll see you in a couple of uh, weeks for June's box. Bye!